Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Miss Lachey here. So let me just dust off this box real quick, you guys. So today I'm going to be doing a wig by I Define Wig. I've been waiting for them, y'all. I've been waiting to do this wig for you guys. This is my first time doing a collab with them and I was excited about it because I do hear a lot of great things about I Define Wig. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it to the test myself. This wig that you're looking at is an undetectable HD lace T-part wig and the texture is straight. It's 180% density, pre-bleached knots, and yeah, this is pretty much what we have here. It has so much space in the front for it to be a T-part um, wig. I really like that because if you wanted to glue it down, you still have space to glue it down. Um, and they did bleach the knots on this here, so you don't have to do too much. The knots were still a little bit dark, but I think when sometimes companies blend, um, blend the or bleach the knots, you may have to still do it to your liking, so... That's definitely just preference. And then it has, of course, the adjustable bands there. Um, I never told you guys this, but I like to put it on the um, on the tightest hook so that it can have, so it can be really, really snug on my head. And then I'll go ahead and, you know, apply it to my head. So the length of this wig, it is 18 inches long. I still think that is, I think it's longer than 18 inches, but maybe because the texture is straight, so you pretty much get the full length, but um, it is really long to me. And um, yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and comb through it because I had that wig sitting there for like, probably like a week before I even tried it on. And now, and even now for me talking down, I have it on a week later for me posting this. So it's been getting some usage, okay, you guys? So I'm gonna go ahead and take some of my foundation um, and apply that to the wig and just use it like as a tint. And I'm gonna put that all over and I kind of screwed this up a little bit because I was in a rush and that makeup definitely just went over to the other side. So um, just, you know, do it right, okay? <laughs> you don't have to do all that. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the ear tabs because I like it um, to fit perfectly before I glue it down that way I don't have to go back and mess around with the ear tabs because we all know that's the most easiest part to come up so if I were you guys before even you know gluing down your wig just um go ahead and customize the ear tabs to the way it fits on your head So I went ahead and um, used some of this alcohol just to clear my palette, make sure that, you know, the glue um, stuck to it nicely. The glue that I'm using is um, Hold Me Down Adhesive by Erica J. And I do like to cut my lace in sections that way that I can, you know, I, it, it's easier to work with like that. So I went ahead and did that. I did three layers and then I waited till it dried clear and I went ahead and laid down the lace as you guys will see here. So um, just to give you guys my preference, I really, really prefer a HD lace um, over a lot of the different lace that they have out there only because it's really, it's like a thinner lace. It's, I like my lace to be thinner. That way it melts evenly and it melts like effortlessly. Um, I don't know if anybody else tried the difference between like a um, a HD lace in comparison to like a transparent or something like that. HD lace is just so much more easier to work with and it gives you a more realistic look. So I really like this about this wig. And I don't know if I told you guys it has six inch parting space and that's that middle part there. So I have a lot to work with there. And then it's 13 inches around the perimeter. So you have a lot to work with. And like I said, I had this wig on for um, over a week now, and I absolutely love it. The hair doesn't tangle. It doesn't shed. Um, yeah, it's, it's just a really good wig. It's just, when I say a really good wig, I'm not comparing this to like luxury hair because I know a lot of people do have luxury hair. I just feel like it's really good for its price. I feel like it's affordable. I feel like it. Um, you can get your everyday use out of it, um, but I guess I can say if I was to purchase it again, will I purchase it? Yeah, I don't mind the hair. I think the hair is really nice. Um, I love the straight texture. It straightens really, really good. As you guys can see here, it has the luster and the shine in here. Um, I have no problems with it at all. So I love doing reviews like this because you guys have a, you know, you guys can check out different companies and different textures and stuff like that. So I have nothing against this wig. I really, really like it. And I still have it in my head. As we speak, like I said, it's been a week since it's been in my head and it's been doing me good. So 
I have no complaints. And the flat iron that I'm using um, in this video is by Baby Bliss. It's their thin, I, I'll put it down in the description bar. I can't um, think of the name of it off top, but I'll link it in the description bar. I really like it for if you're trying to get a straight, sleek look because the flat irons is so thin and they just clamp really, really tight. So you'll get that look that you're, um, that desired look that you're going for. So I'll make sure I look, link it down for you guys. Now that my hair is really, really sleek, <laughs> might I say, <laughs> I'm going to use this um, concealer palette. It's by BH Cosmetics, um, and I'm, it just has like a variety of different kind of shades in there. I'm going to use that to define my middle part. Um, I'm trying to do it really, really clean because I've noticed in some of my videos, I don't even care how my part look. It'd be pretty messy, um, and I thought that was the way to go, but it's really not. Um, this, is the, <laughs> this is the palette here, and yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and define that so that I can you know, make it look more realistic, of course. And I noticed that I had a lot more parting space that I could work with. So I want to show you guys how far back it went. It's going real, real deep. It's giving me like middle crown deep. Okay. So I want to show you guys that if you did want the part to be really, really long and you wanted to utilize that space, you absolutely can. Okay. Okay. Because I know y'all see that long old part in my head. <laughs> but I like it. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this here and see how it stayed down. As y'all can see, like I was telling you guys with the HD lace, like it's really, really thin. Like you can barely tell that the lace is there. And that's how we want it to look, okay? And then I tried to something new. I tried to use the eyebrow razor, but I don't think it was sharp enough. So um, you will see me switch over back to scissors, but I'm going to go at it again in another video um, because I hear that it's, it's better to be more ragged and more, you know, make the lace look a little bit more realistic like that. So now I'm just going to take out some baby hairs and I'm going to straighten that there so I can get um, all the baby hairs to form towards the front. Cut a little bit off, of course, and then I'm going to go ahead and style it as so. So you guys, I took this got to be glue gel and used it to form my baby hairs. This is not something I do all the time, but don't beat me up. Okay. <laughs> but I leave all my stuff at the salon. So I kind of utilize whatever it is that I have at home and try to make it work. And I'm not against that. Like sometimes I like doing different things just to show you guys, maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. Um, it's definitely just preference for like, as far as the baby hairs using a gel, um, it worked okay, but I do like to comb out my baby hairs afterwards so that it won't be so, you know, won't look so stuck together. So I did use this for this video. Um, if you guys um, tend to use it, you may or may not like it. I think it's definitely just preference, but I had to use what I had because I didn't have a blow dryer. Once again, that's at the salon. I didn't have any mousse. That's at the salon. And yeah, so, but I still made it work. Sometimes you just got to make it work with what you got. And that's what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> To kind of blend that lace with my scalp a little bit more, I just used some more of that um, concealer in the palette and I just tried to, you know, put them in a little spaces so that it can look more scalp like y'all. I left my ring light at the um, at the salon, too. So and my whole makeup kit. So my makeup is on here is looking pretty greasy. Y'all probably couldn't tell, but I can tell I'm watching this video and I'm just like, are you going to post this still? But yeah, I'm going to post it. OK, because. It's going to have to be okay. <laughs> but so this is pretty much how it came out. I'm showing you guys the luster, the movement in the hair. I think slow-mo really shows you guys how it moves. Like I said, this this weave was, um, this wig was 18 inches and it looks pretty long. Like I, it's giving me like 22 inch, 22, 24 inch. 
Um, but yeah, it's really, really full. I really like the way it came. Um, oh, okay. I'm sorry. Ooh, that one caught me off guard. Do you see that? <laughs> yes, it's giving me straight up movement and body. Okay, so... I, I like for the video to show itself rather than me, you know, tell you guys. But yeah, that's that's how I'm looking. Um, so I'm just going to plant in a little bit more, just show you guys, you know, what I'm working with. Like I said, I didn't have a dryer, I put it on the best I can. I know I have a little bit of residue there, but you know, who cares? You should be six feet back anyways. It's social distancing. <laughs> but yes, I thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in another one. Bye.